Welcome! This short video is intended to provide a basic introduction to MathCAD Prime 1.0. If you are watching this video for the first time, you may be a veteran user of MathCAD and want to know more about some of the new features, or you may just be a new user and want to know more about MathCAD in general. So MathCAD Prime 1.0, one of the first new features is the ribbon style interface. All operators, functions, uh, symbols, matrices, toolbars can all be selected by scrolling your mouse along uh, the tabs. Uh, selecting this MathCAD icon will also allow you to open some of your basic features and functions. The whiteboard interface is unique to MathCAD, so you can enter text anywhere within this worksheet. Um, and each area is called a region. So I'm going to let X uh, equal to, now this is a colon equal to uh, for, and what I'm telling MathCAD is that I'm assigning a value, I'm not telling MathCAD to actually evaluate this. Um, I might also assign Y to be 3. And if you can see, MathCAD's new alignment grid allows me to easily align up each of my all of my equations and regions. Functions that are commonly used can be added to the quick access toolbar. So if I commonly use this solve block, I can right click it um, and add to the quick access toolbar. Right there. And you can easily remove um, remove functions as your requirements change. Now MathCAD allows you to enter math in a natural math notation. So for example, if I add 15 plus 8 all over 3, oops, let's try that again, 15 plus 8 all over 3. Now you can see that this is being displayed as a fraction not as a division line or as a forward slash and now by entering the equal sign I'm actually telling MathCAD to compute this equation which it does automatically. MathCAD's improved equation editor allows me to quickly edit any equations. So if I go back um, and change this and click outside, notice that MathCAD automatically updates that equation for me. MathCAD also ha is unique in its ability to provide dynamic checking of units and it's also able to handle different units uh, within equations. Now by going to the Math tab, going to the Units, I can select how I want my answers to be displayed. So in SI units, um, United States customary units or centimeter gram second units. Uh, so I'll show you an example um, of what I mean. So 14 inches plus 23 centimeters plus oh, plus 45 millimeters plus 5 kilometers plus 2.3 miles equals. Now, as you can see, my answer. Um, MathCAD was easily able to calculate this equation with the mixed units and provide me with an answer in um, my SI units. I can always go back and change this final output, so if I don't want my answer in metres, I can change that to kilometres, and MathCAD will automatically update that for me. Now, MathCAD also provides visual distinction between units, constants, and variables. So, for example, if I sign mass to be 45 kilograms. Now notice that that's become highlighted in a dark blue color so MathCAD recognizes that this is actually a unit. Um, if I then um, enter in an equation like so, this C here uh, MathCAD is able to recognize that this is actually the constant for speed of light and has highlighted that in uh, a green color. Now, if 
if I then go and compute this by typing in e equals to, MathCAD is able to um, evaluate this equation for me and it's automatically converted the units of kilograms by meters squared over seconds squared into joules. MathCAD is truly comprehensive as it allows you not only to compute live maths but also to add text. So by going to the document tab I can select the add text toolbar and this will come up as a separate region um, and I can label this as being um, Albert Einstein's Maths Equivalence Equation and I can treat this just like any other region um, and move this around there. I can also add uh, images and uh, graphics. So, you know, MathCAD is truly comprehensive in that manner. It also has improved what you see is what you get document editing, which includes um, headers and footers. Um, you can add margins, change the grid sizes. Um, you can add in uh, page orientations. So it makes MathCAD not only a very powerful mathematical tool, but allows for data to be documented for reusability, collaboration, and publication. MathCAD also, MathCAD Prime also comes with Batch Worksheet Converter uh, for older versions of MathCAD files. Um, which allows you to quickly convert convert these files to MathCAD Prime files um, by going to the input output function. So currently this still requires MathCAD 15 to be installed. Um, so by selecting this, you can see um, that that's popped up. You have the option to add a worksheet into there. Um, and it can tell you, um, you have the option then to convert your file um, and MathCAD will automatically create a new compatible file in the same folder uh, which you can then use in MathCAD Prime. So MathCAD uh, Prime also provides the necessary tools for a range of engineering and mathematical calculations if I go to the functions, notice that there are a range that you can choose from. Um, so simply by selecting any of these, um, and you can drag the scroll down um, to choose your desired function. Alternatively, you can select the All Functions button, which will bring up a search function on the side. So if I type in function for main, it will, sh it will bring up uh, several different options that I can use for that. So that saves you searching through hundreds of the <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of different functions that are available. Now let's look at the matrices and tables functions. Uh, to insert a matrix or table, uh, it's really simple. You can select the icon. Um, I'm going to I'm going to insert a four by two table here. Um, and I can also increase the size of that so I can add a row below if I want to. Um, just move that there. I can label my axes. I can also MathCAD is also able to support units in all of um, the matrices, tables and plots as well. So what I'm going to do is in my units. Two, three, four, five, um, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and ninety. Um, I can also create um, matrices from this by 
typing in x equals to and that will automatically bring up the matrix for that. Um, and I'll do the same for the y value there. Now in order to plot this information uh, we'll need to go to the plots tab. Insert plot. I'm going to select a really basic xy plot here. I need to then, so using the previous example I'm just going to go through and label this, so my y-axis um, and type in values for the placeholders there type in hour and if I click outside MathCAD will automatically update that for me now if I would like to change um, the increments along my axis I, go, I can go to the second on there and type in 2 because I want it to increase by increments of 1 and MathCAD will automatically update that for me as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to MathCAD Prime 1.0. Keep an eye out for our updates and future releases at our website at www.cadit.net.